So this is your last call. We're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse all in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. Hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's look at 801. So House of Marin, definitely pick up this shader. I definitely think it's really, really cool. We're on my Titan today. And the only thing I can tell you that's a negative of House of Marin and the other one, I forget the other one, but the green one is the fact that it has this yellow or yeah, this yellow uh, like highlighter color. It's terrible. I hate it. Um, that's why Sato Tribe is the best. Don't at me. I'm literally right. Sato Tribe is legitimately the best. Now I will say House of Marin and the green one are really cool if you can avoid these colors. But I mean, obviously I can't avoid these colors. So that's my whole gripe about House of Marion and the green one. <clears throat> Flowers of Io. I don't remember this one on Titan. This doesn't look terrible. It actually looks like, like this armor has been worn or the shaders like, cause like my biggest issue with, or not issue, but a pet peeve, I guess you would say is that I'm not a big fan of when armor or shader specifically uh, is super bright and doesn't look like it's been used, which is why I like the worn set a little bit more. Cause this does look like it's been worn. Like, don't get me wrong. I like shaders that are bright and colorful, colorful, but it kind of brings me out of the the game because it's like, oh, this is so bright that it realistically doesn't like make sense considering my like my Titan would be a, I, in the field getting dirty. And I don't know. I, I just like it when there's a worn look or specifically shaders that look like really like fucked up. So I definitely think Bungie needs to have more of these worn looks because that would actually make the like the guardian look even better in my opinion uh, new monarchy regalia this is one of my favorite shaders i'm so happy that they started reselling old shaders man i was so happy this is the iron man shader if you guys don't know and yeah it looks amazing i definitely would recommend this one just because again red and gold is just such a go dope color scheme so as for the armor set it's gonna sh i will show you up right now <laughs> as for the armor set i'll show you guys right now how they look i definitely like the helmet like the only thing I don't like about the hunters is the chest piece. I think the chest piece is pretty terrible. That being said, I do mention quite a bit that the cloak is pretty bad, but it takes shaders really bad. Other than that, it looks amazing. Uh, Titans, I think the chest piece is pretty cool. I think the helmet is pretty cool. I think the boots can definitely be used. The arms I'm not the biggest fan of and the cloak or the mark I'm not the biggest fan of. Warlocks, I literally like almost everything, like especially the bond. I think the bond is really cool. I think the chest piece is super unique. I think the helmet's super unique and the arms and boots are pretty boring. So let me know what you guys are going to be. Uh, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Ada. As for Banshee, we have Whispering Slide with Archer's Tempo and Demo. Iota Draconis with Heating Up and Harmony. Dire Promise with Snapshot Sights and Under Pressure. Cold Denial with Threat Detector and Sympathetic Arsenal. And then Palmera B with Unrelenting and Explosive Payload. So I think Dire Promise probably is the best one. Um, maybe? Stability, yeah. Yeah, I guess Snapshot Sights is really nice. Under Pressure, I guess would be fine. Um, 11 shots, how much would be? It's a 14. So what, seven shots you'll have left for the under pressure, which is not bad. I don't know. Like this would be definitely the best one. That being said, I, I have a better one than this. So <laughs> I definitely am not picking anything up, anything up. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Banshee. As for Zer, he's in the Winding Cove on the EDZ currently selling the Season of the Lost Armor. So this armor is really, really dope. Um, let me actually go real quick to collections because I need to see all of the armor. But by all means, you guys are probably watching the armor right now. So it's pretty rough because I actually like the hunters a lot. I got everything unlocked, I think, except the cloak. So the helmet, definitely worth a pickup. The arms and the boots are definitely worth a pickup if you want to go for a sleek look. The chest piece, I will say I, I, I really regret getting this, uh, like unlocking it because I don't use it as much as I would like. And the cloak, I think, is like pretty boring. Titans, I think the helmet, helmet is worth a pickup. I think the boots are super cool and I want to use the chest piece and the arms. But I will say the chest piece, I think, is better than the arms. And then the mark, I think, is very boring. Warlocks. The helmet is pretty cool. The arms are pretty cool. The boots are pretty cool. 
chest piece I can definitely use. Um, and the bond I've actually used quite a bit. So let me know which which pieces you guys are gonna be picking up. I again, like I said, I think all these pieces are really, really cool and offer you a lot of really cool ideas. Like specifically for the hunters, the arms and the chest no, the arms and the boots I ended up using for a an SRL inspired look. And I really, really like it. It came out really cool. Uh you guys can check that video out right here if you guys want. Hopefully I'll put a thing on it, but yeah, I've done an SRL look for that. Titans, that chest piece, or the helmet is really cool. The boots, I think, are amazing. Warlocks, I've used the bond on, like, electrical sets, which looks so cool. I think the helmet, I've also used for the SRL look as well. And, yeah, overall, I definitely would recommend this armor. As for the armor stats, hopefully, hopefully I have them up right now. If not, and I'll have them up. I just don't like to do it me personally because it takes too much time from me making a graphic for it even like light gg doesn't have it all like full all the time like sometimes the warlock will not have all the roles so i have to go in and actually add them in so hopefully light gg has it up by the time i'm record or uh finish editing this but yeah they have it thank god so yeah that should be enough time if it's not just pause the, the video i don't know what to tell you so as for the weapons, we have Enigma's Draw with Opening Shot and Demo, Shepherd's Watch with Tunnel Vision and Firing Line, Fire Fright with Threat Detector and Elemental Capacitor, Widow's Bite with Firmly Planted and Demo, the the Deicide with Hip Fire Grip and Elemental Capacitor, Berenger's Memory with Quick Draw and Demo, and then Fire and Forget with Killing Wind and Frenzy. So. This Fire Fright and Fire and Forget are both Red Border weapons, so definitely pick those two up. Uh, there's nothing that I really am like, whoa, it's just very basic weaponry. For Hawkmoon, we have Snapshot Sights, and then for the Exotics, we have Queen Breaker, Six Coyote, which I definitely recommend. Not only that, this will be the first exotic video that I will be doing, which should be soon because I'm going to be do doing the audio for this for this exotic literally after this video. Mark 44 Stanisides with some pretty decent rolls actually. Once you masterwork this, you get a 10 in resilience, which is nice. Um, I would probably just bump up that resilience to a 20. So that way it'll be a 20, 20, and then 25. So I actually might get this. I don't, hold on, let me see my my Mark 44 Stanisides because if it's pretty, mm, oof. Okay, I'll pick it up just because it is better than the one I currently have. Not by much, mind you. Not by much. But it's enough to me to be like, okay, why not? Fuck. Uh, mm, dark days. Do I have these boots? Unlocked? It don't matter. I'll unlock them if I want to. Let me get this real quick. Okay. And then controversy holds with too high mobility. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Let me actually see what my Titan gets. I usually never go for my Titan stuff. Severance enclosure, really? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I will not be looking at that. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. We're going to be looking at, Z or not Zer, we're going to be looking at uh, Eververse rules. As for Eververse, we have Hazard Pay, which I. I actually don't mind it here. This actually looks like decent. I actually really like this red color. It's more of a like a red that Mayans would use. So that's why I like it. We have Circadian Chill, which doesn't look terrible. I definitely like it on this set. God, I wish that gold would change color, the golden white. Uh, we have Inflorescence, which I feel like I've seen this like flower thing on like three other colors. Uh, Pale Rider, which I'm not the biggest fan of personally. I have it just because I got it from a, from an Ingram, but it's definitely not bad. It's just not my style person personally. Uh, Festive Sparks. I don't know how I have this, but I have it. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Lunar Tiger Projection, Aurora Sacrifice for the Hollow Fire Heart, and the other ornaments for the classes. I'll show you after we're done with Eververse. Or actually, I'll show you right now. Might as well. Uh, for the hunters, it's gonna be the boots. Sorry, my brain had a fart right there. Um, it's uh, fish pants. Where are you? Here you are. So it's gonna be for the Star Eater scales, specifically the digital variants. It's gonna be this one. This is really cool. I've already made a look for this one. I've already done all of the um, the new exotic ornaments that we got for all the classes. Um, they're 
Fuck it, we'll post them all right now. I, I was not wanting to do that, but might as well do it. Here are all the videos for the Hunters, Titans, and Warlocks. I've also already done shorts for them as well. So if you just want to see the shorts and not me talking, then do go check that out. The caveat is the fact that in the review video, we go through how it looks and how it shaders and some other things here and there. So that's why I would suggest if you want to see how it shaders before you buy it, definitely check out the review first. But that's just me. That's that's my that's what I would do at least no not here let's go back to Eververse real quick we have out of dodge which is a sparrow which looks cool but definitely not worth the amount they're asking for 2,000 yeah okay Cosmos light beam not 2,000 either dog like it's funny because like they the price is so wild for ghost ships and sparrows that really don't have any value at least not any real value how other games would have their mounts and whatnot like for world of warcraft or final fantasy 14 mounts means such a it's it's more significant than in destiny 2 which is really sad arcade shell i definitely should make a video on that though um this is okay um definitely whatever's we have jubilant decree Okay. Origami Crane. It's literally just an origami emote. And then for the Transmat Stasis Entrance. Cabal Shield Breaker. And then Taken Arrival. So I would definitely recommend these two. I usually don't recommend Transmat Effects, but I would recommend these two if you're going for a like class, not class, but like an enemy specific cosplay in game. You're gonna definitely want to do the transmats just because it adds that level of like authenticity, I guess. Gamekeeper, which is slowly turning into a like one of my favorite shaders, surprisingly. Um, mostly because it reminds me of the colors from Metal Gear Solid One. Um, so that's why I'm like, this I fuck with it. I really do fuck with it. We have Empirical Imperative, which I've made a sh a, a set with. Bleh. Okay. I made a set with Empirical Imperative with the new ornament that they got for Aurora Sacrifice, which looks amazing. We have Grayscale Undergrowth. <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, man, the more I start looking at this like cut shader, the more I'm like, I can definitely use this. And uh, Calco's Finery, which doesn't look terrible. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I have for those of you who don't care about what i'm going to say you can definitely leave thank you for coming up to this point if you did uh, remember to like comment subscribe it really does help hit the bell notification if you want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think i post a lot of content for someone who's just doing it by themselves uh, especially specifically just fashion related like it's just all fashion which will change in the future but that is my spiel go out there and have fun guardians but for those of you who care more about the channel and whatnot so i <clears throat> I have finished all of the exotic ornament videos finally. Um, I've been really pun not punishing, but really like hating myself for not making those videos sooner. I okay, so I am thinking of hold on, let me see. So let me see real quick. So, okay, let me let me get my my notebook out real quick so that way I can explain. So the, some of the content we're going to be going through is I already started the playlist shader. We're going to do the season pass shaders probably tomorrow, but this week, probably. I don't know when um, those are super easy because I don't do an audio for that ever since that one person just said, oh, this could have been done in a 60 minute video. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I don't know why you're why I did it so long. Let me just make my content easier for myself, which is what we're doing now. So every shader video you will see. Uh, just like a really short video for me so that way I just show you how it looks and shaders and whatnot and then if people decide like oh we want to have your like input on it then I'll go back into making them a little bit longer or have them both like make them a short short version and then make the long version either way we'll see um, we did get iron banner dates so April 2nd and April 30th that's the new dates which is super cool we're getting 700 bright dust which is super cool i might make a video on this just because i really do appreciate some of the things that they told us in the toy but we're just gonna, i'm gonna start doing some new player fashion and when i say new player fashion i specifically mean only armor that's av available in game and i am not counting uh like zur i'm not counting zur because uh he 
as much as I want a counter, it's just I want armor that I know people could farm relatively easily, which is kind of rough because I am thinking about adding whirlpool armor, but I don't even know what what armor is in the whirlpool. So we might just say specifically from like activities from the seasons and whatnot. So that means um, some of the playlist armor is definitely going to be in there. Some of the so because I kind of want to do it free to play or almost like because you're new you won't have friends most of the time I kind of want to not do the raids we might do the the uh, the dungeon armor just because you can solo it I mean it'll take you a while but you can solo it and it doesn't matter if you solo flawless it after you're done with it you'll get armor hopefully um, some planetary armor if there is planetary armor for it dreaming city for sure Eternity, which is going to be rough. Not Eternity, but Dares, Dares of Eternity. This one's going to be rough. I might do the Xur armor as well, because if you have the 30th anniversary, then you have that armor already. <laughs> or you should be able to unlock it. The Dares armor, though, there is an armor rotation for it. So that's why I'm like hesitant, hesitant to pull from that. But I might do it just because why not? So it might be a new player, like a new player fashion aspect of you have everything in game, specifically like all of you, you're caught up with all of the DLC and you have the extra 30th anniversary. So that will be the new player thing. If you want me to do a free to play style, that's going to be a little bit more rough because I don't know what free, like what stuff is in the free to play model. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, season loadout. So this is one thing I want to start doing before the end of the season where we look at all of the things that I have here and I'm going to go through it with a fine comb to see like what I actually use. Like, do I use this set? I actually do this one. Not as much as I used to. This one I use a lot. This one. I don't use this one as much. This one I still use. This one I don't use. This one I use. This one I use. And I actually might replace some of these pieces with the set that I have on it right now. How does this look? Hmm. That's weird because it's not supposed to have the ornament on it. Uh, this one I do use from time to time. And this one I did use, but now I don't. So I know that the Hunter one, I have a lot of them that I do use. So we'll start with the Hunter, then we'll go down from there. But they're going to be individual videos uh, because I'm literally going to be talking like, so for example, we're going to look at this one. We're going to look at all of the things that I currently have on it, the weapons and the armor sets, which thankfully we have like mod the mod uh page so that way i can show you in depth and then from there the fashion so the fashion would probably be the first thing we look at so i'd be like oh yeah so let's go to the fashion look at it and explain my thought process on it and then from there we'll do like small little reviews of the loadouts that i currently have it'll be a long video though like let me just tell you guys because we would have to go through the weapons armor how it looks and then the solar subclass i could just do this um if I really wanted to and I guess we could do that if we wanted to do it super fast but I also just want to explain like some of the minutiae of it like oh I'm using specifically this one because it gives me 10 resilience and I want to have high resilience and high recovery because I'm a tight end so stuff like that um, I'm also gonna be updating the tier list so if you guys don't know I've done a tier list for the like a bunch of stuff actually the raid armor the season pass armors and the uh, dungeon armors as well i'm going to be updating those some of them may go down some of them may go up uh but that's going to be fun because the, la the last tier sets that i've made people were not mad but just they were just like you wilding bro which is fair and we're also going to be adding iron banner armor from d2 um i'm also working on a video where i'm basically sharing that i think srl which if you guys don't know it's a sparrow racing league it was it sounds exactly what it is it's you versus other people racing with sparrows i definitely think it could have like a place in the playlists and that's i'm gonna be arguing that uh and then d2 transmit wish oh i have a i have a wish list for transmog and i finally have i think 12 uh notes that i want to pwn out and that's gonna be a lot of fun because i i have a lot of things that i wish we had in this game so that is pretty much it. That's currently what I have planned. I have other things as well, like the thematic videos, but that's going to come back later. We'll talk about that probably next week's last call. I want these last calls to not only give you all of the information from in game, but I also want to give you what's up for the week. So that way you guys are aware of like 
that I'm actually working on content and not just like, cause I feel like if I had a discord, this would be easier. And I've promised I really am working on it. It's just this channel takes so much of my time with getting footage, um, making the videos, making the thumbnails, um, then working on the next videos. And not only that, but just working on the second channel as well, because I am still working on it. I'm just trying to get footage for it. It's just so much work. And on top of that, I have a job. So it's just so much to do that. Sometimes I just let like some things just fall through the cracks. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. I really do. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.